The future of farms amid advances in technology is taking place at the most unlikely of places, subway stations. For more, I have Chan Song Cho standing by. Song Cho, welcome. Good afternoon, Sunny. Right, so Song Cho, I was actually going to ask you where you are, but now I feel compelled to ask you why you dress that way. Right, you must be wondering what on earth I'm wearing at a subway station, as Sunny mentioned. Uh, but actually, I'm not here to use the subway. I'm here to show you a subterranean organic farm. That's right. So when you walk down the exit number two of Sangdo Station in southwestern Seoul, it's hard to miss this white green signboard that reads Metro Farm. And if you walk in, you'll meet with a, an unusual scene. You'll see like a glass paneled facades. Uh, they almost look like containers or uh, greenhouses made of glass. And inside, you'll see a whole lot of green brightly lit under LED lights. That's right. Um, so yes, a subway station seems like an unlikely place to grow plants, uh, greafy vegetables. Um, however, that's what exactly uh, the South Korean tech startup Farm Aid has been doing since September 2019. It's the first smart farm to be installed in a subway station in South Korea. About 30 different varieties of organic edible plants, including microgreens, flowers, and sprites, thrive here. But what's amazing, what's amazing about this farm is that they don't use sunlight or soil, obviously, because this is underground at a subway station. So instead, what they have is this hydroponic plates where the greens are grown. And then they have also this uh, bright green, uh, excuse me, bright white, red, blue lights that sort of like work like sunlight. So you can see that these sprouts are on this hydroponic plates and they're also submerged in water, some other uh, kinds of vegetables. And there are all these like water pipes and valves and fans over there to really control the environmental factors here. But the environmental factors are all managed by this AI system that automatically, remotely uh, manages and controls factors like water, light, temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels. So using this automated tech network, the farm can grow plants so much faster than a conventional farm. And uh, since the, all of these environmental factors are managed, 24-7. So to learn more about this really highly productive farming, let's introduce, uh, I'm going to introduce one of the workers and officials here. Uh, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> so I'm going to ask him why we need to wear this work clothes from the first place. Oh, 이런 위생복이랑 모자는 왜 착용해야 되는 거죠? 네, 저희 이제 메트로팜 같은 건 원래 밀폐용 공간이어서 외부 오염물질이 유입되지는 않지만 근데 이제 재배사분들이 외부에 드나드실 때 이제 옷에 무스진 뭐 흙? 먼지 세균 같은 걸 유입이 되는 걸 방지하기 위해서 이렇게 위생복을 착용을 하고 있습니다. Uh, okay, so this place is uh, completely isolated or sealed, as you say. Uh, but uh, people like harvesters are constantly uh, going in, entering in and out of this space. That's why we need to prevent the pollutants from outside, like dirt and viruses and bacteria, from entering uh, this space. Uh, 그러면 지금 이런 메트로팜에 대한 스마트팜에 대한 가장 큰 장점 뭐라고 생각하세요? So what's the most advantageous factor about this smart farm? 아, 네, 저희 이제 메트로팜 같은 경우는 이제 아까 말씀드렸다시피 밀폐형 공간이기 때문에 이제 도심 속 지하철 내에도 이제 농장을 형성할 수 있었고요. 그리고 이제 좁은 공간에서도 이제 생산량을 높일 수 있는 수직 농장으로 이제 재배지를 구성을 해서 저희가 이제 일반 토지 면적 대비 46배 가량 높게 생산을 해내고 있습니다. Oh, wow. So as I explained before, um, this place is completely isolated. That's why it could be built underground at a subway station in the heart of an urban space. And also it uses vertical farming, a very highly productive method of farming that really utilizes and maximizes the use of idle urban space. Oh, 감사합니다. Wow, so it seems like the future has already arrived. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, this uh, smart farming, uh, metro farming, is a very, really, really a great example how, of how technology can be used to um, really make agriculture resilient in the face of climate change. And what's also great about this space is that there's a cafe right outside. So the adjacent cafe sells all kinds of fresh produce that is harvested from this farm. Um, so they make sandwiches out of it or um, salad or smoothies. So 
Uh, it's a really full seat to table operation. Uh, if you're passing through Sangdo Station, why don't you stop by? What do you think? This has been Chun Sung Cho reporting live from Sangdo Station and back to Sun in the studio. Right, Sung Cho, I would love to stop by for that sandwich and more. Thank you for that report.